Hey guys, my name is Jesper Nissen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I train ChatGPT to write the perfect landing page content. So we all know how it is when we are trying to use ChatGPT to write content for our websites. It comes out sounding generic, AI-like, and it certainly does not know how to use the correct entities and keywords, and it knows nothing about us, right? So I devised a very simple three-step uh, workflow to use ChatGPT and Schema Writer to write the perfect landing page content. So step one is we uh, use Schema Writer to find Wikipedia entities and keywords. Step two is we copy the landing page text and let ChatGPT read it. And the step three is that we use the landing page prompt and insert target keyword company name and entities and keywords. And voila, then we have the perfect landing page content. And I use this method and uh, this workflow all the time and it works perfectly also when I'm building my cloud links and when I'm building uh, guest posts and when I'm building web two links to my websites, I use this all the time. So let's get started. I will uh, head over to uh, Schema Writer. Schema Writer, if you don't know that, it is my uh, platform that I made to create the schema and uh, content. And I also built a, uh, an application called Wikipedia Entities Generation. And what this guy does is that uh, it goes out to Wikipedia and then it grabs all the related entities and all the related keywords and it sorts them in relevance compared to the input keyword that you give. So uh, let's try out. So in the example I'm going to show you today, I'm going to use the um, keyword called pest control. And I also found a, uh, an example website that uh, they're not ranking number one for pest control. So let's assume that they want to rank higher for pest control Burleson, Good, because that's what they're trying to achieve here. And uh, I can use fat rank to see that they are ranking, they're ranking number 13 now. So we want to rank them a little bit higher. So they have some content get a free quote on pest control in Burleson. So that's what they're targeting, pest control Burleson. So they have some keywords here, ants, cockroaches, spiders. And uh, yeah, so they have uh, some content, but not a lot. So um, yeah, but let's, uh, let's sort that out. So what I uh, will start to do at step one is I will try to find the, um, the uh, entities and related keywords. So what I do is I simply type in my keyword pest control and I then click process. So uh, now I will now get this list that uh, these are all the entities that you see here and these are all the related keywords that you see here. So the difference between the entities and the keywords is that the, the, the keyword or the entities, they have their own Wikipedia page. So we see if I go to Wikipedia, do it. I search for pest control, dude. Then I come to this page. So that's the uh, unique page for, uh, for pest control. And if I search for pest dash control, for example, let's just try that pest dash control. So it actually forwards to that page pest control. So what that means is that uh, pest dash control and insect killing and so on and so forth, so all of these key pest persistent and pest management. So all of these keywords that you see here, here, see here in the right column, they're kind of like related keywords or synonyms to pest control over here and the key and the entities that you see over here. So what I do is I click uh, comma separated and comma separated, and then I click copy. I open notepad, dude. So these are the entities, copy. And then I click copy here. These are the keywords. Dude. So now I have the entities and the keywords. So that was step one. So step two was to copy my landing page text and let ChatGPT read it. So I hop over to my website, just click somewhere, con control A, control C, and then I hop over to ChatGPT and I do like this, read this, dude. and control V and enter. So I'm using the model called ChatGPT 4.0, and uh, that's just uh, what I prefer. And you can use ChatGPT 01 or 01 mini or uh, GPT 4, 
yeah, whatever you like. Uh, I just like to use ChatGPT for a while, like the output that I get relatively fast also. So now ChatGPT is done, and uh, this appears to be the text content from a lawn care pest control company's website, blah, blah, blah. So that's fine. So now we know that ChatGPT actually understands what it is. So what is our next step? We are now going to use the landing page prompt and insert target keyword, company name, and entities and keywords. So the landing page prompt is a it's relatively, I, I would say, medium to large size prompt. So it's, it's not the smallest prompt that you have ever seen, but uh, the power does not lie actually in this prompt. The power actually lies in that we actually ask ChatGPT to read our text. Uh, and so uh, what I'm saying is here to ChatGPT, based on the text that you just read, write a well-detailed and comprehensive landing page content for the company, company name. The content should be formal, informative, and extensively cover various aspects of the target keyword. Include a short section called key, key takeaways at the top of the content. Format the key takeaway section with bullet points for clarity and readability. So this section here with the key takeaways you can include it, you can uh, choose to not include it. I, I Sometimes I like it, so uh, let me just show you how it looks like. Include headers and subheaders in the contents. Make the individual sections unequal in length. And then this is the target keyword, so that's what you want to include. So uh, let me see they are what they are called. The company name is Growlawn. Grow, grow yeah, so that's the company name. So company name will be Growlawn. Do, 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 grow lawn do, and the target keyword will be pest control person and so the length will be set to by default 1000 words but that's of course entirely up to you you could say I want 2000 words and then it will be 2000 or approximately 2000 so include these entities and keywords, and this is where you are in, where you're going to include the entities and keywords. So what I do is I actually go back to Schema Writer, and then I make it show as a list and as a list, because I want to make sure that I'm not including something that's not super duper relevant. So I'm looking, I'm inspecting this list, going down here. And I think uh, I think I will go biological pest control. That will be the last entity that I will include because falconry hunting weapon seems like that below this entity they are not so super relevant. So let I'll I'll just down to here, and I think I'll actually include all of the keywords here. So what I will do is it was let's just see biological biological pest control. Do, 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 do. Delete. Do, 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 do. Uh, and pest control. We already have that, so let's let me just delete that. Do, do. Like that. Okay. So that is my entire list <clears throat> of keywords and entities. And let me go over to my landing page prompt. Do, do. Control V. So uh, yeah, it's relative. Now it's a relatively large prompts but um, yeah it should be good so I will now copy my entire prompt control C and go over to chat GPT control V and I will click enter so uh, now the uh, chat GPT will now write the entire article for so the, the entire landing page for us and uh, while it is writing let me just uh, point your uh, attention to the fact that I have included some instructions to not make it AI, you know, gibberish. So avoid words like crucial and vital and utilize. Do not use the term in the realm of, instead write something like when talking about. And do not use the words facilitate and delve. And uh, so you're actually, you're actually able to build on this prompt because you can, uh, you know, you can use, you can insert more of, you know, the AI keywords that you don't want to be to have uh, included in your content, but uh, yeah, this works for me. So let's see uh, what it says. Doot, doot, doot. I think it's done now. 
so let's just uh, you know you know I'm, I'm just clicking this guy here close because I don't like this new ancient chat instead I don't I'm I'm annoyed by this new uh, Canva feature I know that they're trying to make it more user friendly but to me it's just annoying so yeah let me just click pause while it's rebuilding all right now it is done and uh, so you can see that it produced the key takeaways i would probably you know, copy this and put it down here but anyway pest control service in burleson protecting your home and environment so that's the kind of like introduction residential and commercial pest control sustainable pest management practices biological pest control rodent control uh, do, 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 do. and it, I think it's, it, it looks perfect actually mosquito control disinfestation, disinfestation. and so I'm scrolling down diacinone and deal drain so I'm, I'm, I can see that it actually included a lot of these entities that I, I gave it and I can also see that um, by incorporating ideas from Rachel Carlson, Carlson's Silent Spring we prioritize sustainable agriculture so it's actually writing to me like it is actually the company Grolon that's writing and uh, why choose Grolon for pest control in Burleson so and then it, it uh, highlights what they are um, what they're good at so expertise comprehensive services sustainability and so on contact us today for professional pest control in Burleson and then their phone number so I think this is perfect and uh, of course you would need to edit it as always so let me just click copy so what i did was i want to show you how optimized this is just out of the box so i uh, used server no not server seo neuron writer i got that from asumo so i used neuron writer to uh, just you know check the content see how optimized is it so this is the title Oops. And let me just insert that here. Good. Pest control service in person. Good. Same or close. And uh, so you can see here that just out of the box, it has a it has, has a score of 44. And if I change all of these headers to H2, let me just change all of the headers to H2. So now I changed all of the headers to H2 and these uh, subheaders to H3 and you can see I, that I actually jumped up to 52. So just out of the box, it has a uh, rating score inside of Neural Runner as um, 252. So that's, I think that's, uh, that's just my recommendation to you guys. I hope you like it. And uh, so actually this content is ready to publish, almost ready. I would just think I would spend a minute, two minutes to edit it and uh, then just published it so uh, yeah i hope you like it guys that was my today's video for you take care